Hi, this is Jeremy with Fundamental Tennis, and in today's video we're going to be talking about topspin, how to vary the amount of spin and speed that you want, and we're going to go through some progressive drills to help you with your topspin. So even if you know how to hit topspin, these very simple drills that anyone can do will help you create even more topspin. Alright, so let's be clear on what topspin is in case you don't already know. So if we take a look at the tennis ball here, look at the black writing on the ball. If we want to hit the ball this way, we need the black writing to spin forward towards our target, end over end like a bicycle tire. Now, I, I like to use black writing because it's easiest to see the type of spin on the ball, and it's easiest to see how much spin you're getting and if you're hitting top spin. Because there are other spins, that if you hit the ball flat, um, there's, it's impossible to hit the ball with no spin. If you hit the ball flat, the ball will have very little spin and it often will spin sideways like this, which is called side spin. So again, it's important to know what type of spin you're getting and, the, and how much spin you're getting because we only want this one if we're talking about top spin. So again, the words are spinning end over end like a bicycle tire. So try to get balls with black writing because that will make it easiest to see the type of spin that you're hitting and how much spin. Now, the reason we want top spin is because top spin is the only way to swing very fast and control the ball and keep it in the court consistently. Because the spin, the top spin, only top spin, because other spins won't do this, the top spin will keep, prevent the ball from sailing long past the baseline because of the rotation on the ball. In fact, the faster you swing, the more control you get because then you get more spin. And again, the spin, top spin, is what gets the ball to drop down in the court before it sails long past the baseline. And hitting the ball long past the baseline is generally what most people are most afraid of in terms of missing the ball. They're not so afraid of hitting the ball left or right or in the net, but they are very much afraid of hitting the ball long because they, typically people do not hit the ball with top spin. So they push the ball, they dink the ball, they don't accelerate, they don't do a full swing, they don't follow through because they're afraid of hitting the ball long and that is what the flat shot does if you hit the ball, if you don't hit the ball with top spin. That's, that would be considered a flat ball. It has very little spin or it's spinning, like I said earlier, sideways. We don't want side spin, so watch the words on the ball or the seams, the white lines on the ball you'll see on any tennis ball and you'll know what type of spin you're getting. Again, to recap, top spin is the only way to control the tennis ball when swinging fast. You can get the ball in, hitting the ball flat, but it's much riskier and that's why the pros do not hit the ball flat. They all have a bit of top spin from near the baseline area because keeping the ball in the court is obviously pretty important. Now, these drills, progressive drills I'm about to show you, are very easy, very simple and it's pretty much a guarantee that you will be hitting topspin if you can't hit topspin already, and if you already hit topspin, it will give you even more topspin. So follow closely, follow the drills closely, do them exactly as I show in the video, and then you will see how the faster you swing, the more control you get, assuming you're creating topspin. All right, you're gonna start one to three steps from the net. I'm gonna demonstrate everything right-handed because I'm right-handed if you're a lefty, you just do the opposite of everything that I do. So you have your right knee on the ground with a towel or some sort of cushion under it. And you're going to start with the bottom of the frame on the ground. This is the low part of low to high. The swing path is the number one thing you need, really the only thing you need to get the top spin. So vertical swing path from low to high will for sure give you top spin, assuming you don't have the racket face open during the contact. If it's open, you won't get spin, the ball will tend to go up. So if you don't see top spin after you hit, um, then you know there's a good chance your strings are open at the contact. By the way, again, make sure you watch the ball come off your strings so you can see the type of spin and the amount of spin. Make sure you do the correct spin. So you start with the racket on the ground. Instead of back here in a backswing, you just start in the contact phase. You wanna isolate just the swing path, just the contact phase and you're going to toss the ball for yourself or you are going to have your partner toss it. You could do this for the forehand, you can do it for the two and a backhand, you can do it for the one and a backhand. I toss the ball, I go from the ground straight up 
It's a very vertical swing path. Notice how my hitting arm is straight. The tip of the racket is pointing to the ceiling and the strings are to the target. Those are all key checkpoints. Make sure you hold the finish and check it to ensure that you finish properly. I'll give you a couple more reps here to show you. Um, I'm not swinging out to the target. I'm swinging just up. The ball will go over if you swing just up as long as you hit it on the strings of the racket. Hit the side of the racket, that ball could go anywhere. Go watch one more. It's like I'm swinging up an imaginary wall here. I can't hit through the wall. I gotta swing up the wall, keeping my racket flush against the wall. Another visual I like to tell my players is, like it's like trying to brush up the back of an apple, shaving the skin off the apple, as opposed to hitting through the apple. You don't wanna break the apple. So, racket on the ground, hold the grip loose to allow the racket to do it for you, and finish with the tip of the racket pointing to the ceiling. Again, hold the finish, and do as many reps as it takes for you to do several in a row correctly. Make sure you watch the spin on the ball. Stay away from the open racket face because you won't be able to get tossed in if you do that. All right, in this progression, we're gonna do the exact same thing as the previous progression when we were on the ground. Only difference is, of course, I'm standing up now. So you're gonna again start with the racket at the same depth as your eventual contact. We're not gonna take a back swing. We're gonna start at the contact phase. And notice how the tip of my racket is pointing to the ground. I gotta hold the grip loose in order to do that. That's a million dollar tip I will say in this video is if you hold the grip tight, then it'll be very difficult, not impossible to get top spin. In fact, the looser you hold the grip, the more potential you have to hit top spin. So from here, you're gonna see that I go from, this is the low part of low to high, of course. The swing path is everything in order to get top spin. When I make contact, the strings are like this. They are not slightly open. That will make you not hit top spin. It'll often make the ball go long. And then, so low contact, and this is the high part of low to high. And notice how my racket is pointing straight up. The strings are pointing to the target, and my hitting arm is straight. It's important that you hold the finish every time to check this. And I don't want you to swing super fast initially because I want to, we don't want to get this, those bad habits we had of our previous swing and the faster you swing, the harder it is to incorporate the new technique. Now, this is of course done the same with the two-handed backhand, although the only difference is you're gonna finish with the frame pointing to the target. One-handed backhand, same thing, finish very high, frame to the target, forehand's the only one where you finish with the strings to the target. By the way, the forehand is the most important shot to have top spin, and it will have the most top spin of all the ground strokes. So if you watch me, I'm in a, I'm facing the net with my chest, no need to turn. We want to isolate the uh, swing path and the contact phase. And all right, here we go. Watch, a, my tip is pointing down, tip of the racket. Here we go. I make contact. I finish with the strings pointing to the target, hold the finish, watch a couple more. And notice how my strings are pointing to the target during contact and after contact. So if you pause the video, Right at contact, you'll see my strings are not open. So uh, you can do as many reps as it takes to, to get this right, to be able to get five, 10, 15 in a row, 15 good ones in a row in which there's top spin. And uh, let's go, let's get to the next progression. All right, this next progression is gonna be a two part progression. Uh, the only difference this time is instead of starting at the contact phase, we're gonna start at the end of our backswing. So you can start low or you can start up here if you do a, what I recommend take back up here, but I probably would start down here to ensure that you get underneath the ball. If you wanna start here, that's fine, but make sure you drop to this same position prior to making contact. So again, recommend probably easiest to start down here. Notice how the racket head is behind my hand instead of next to my hand, because we have a back swing now. So the butt cap of the racket, this red part, the W, is going to point up and forward. It's important it points up to show that the tip of the racket is pointing down. So this is the low part of low to high. 
When the ball comes, I'm going to make contact and then I'm going to continue up and finish with the strings pulling to the target with my arm extended up towards the ceiling. Again, I want you to hold the finish in every rep of every progression that we do. And all right, here it comes. Watch what I do. Racket's low, contact. It's like I'm swinging up a wall. I think that is the best visual for you. And again, hold the finish. Check the finish. Make sure you got it. Watch again, start from the back swing, contact, and hold the finish. I'll demonstrate two-handed backhand and one-handed backhand for you. I don't want to leave out the other ones. And last one, again, it's just about starting below the ball, contacting the ball, and then finishing high. You start below the ball before contact. After contact, you finish as high as you can. Get that vertical swing path as opposed to just swinging out towards the target, then you will get the top spin that you want to. And again, you figure out how fast you swing. I wouldn't go too fast initially for each progression because if you swing too fast, it's easier to get the old bad habits to come back. Now, second part to this progression is you're gonna start in the ready position. When the ball comes, you're going to turn. If you have a high take back or a lower take back, either way is fine. Just make sure that you get to the all important low part of the low to high in which the tip of the racket is pointing down to the ground. So a ball comes and we finish high, strings are forward. Let me show you one more rep here, one more demonstration. So again, the second part of the progression is you just start from the ready position. So you do the whole thing and notice how my strings are pointing to the target. No follow through, just here. All right, give that a try. Take as many reps as you need to. Once you feel confident you're doing it correctly um, for several reps in a row, and you go to this next progression, and uh, I'll see you at the next one. All right, last progression. We're going to start in the same way we did with the second part of our previous progression. So we start in the ready position. The only difference in this progression is now we're going to finish the swing in a different way. So we're going to pass through a similar position as we did when we finished the other swings and other progression, except now we're gonna continue until we finish with the racket behind our lower back. And notice how I caught the racket with my left hand at the end of the swing to remind me to finish the swing correctly. Now, if you finish like this still, like the other progressions, that means that you're swinging only vertically up and you're not swinging enough out towards the target. The reason we want to swing out towards the target is because that's going to give us more speed with our spin. So we want the best of both worlds. We want to swing low to high, but now we're adding the extension of the hand out towards the target so that we have speed with the spin, commonly known as the heavy ball. You see that on the Pro Tour, especially on the men's side. Very fast ball, also has a lot of bounce, a lot of spin. So watch me closely here. Notice where I finish. I go out towards the target more so instead of just low to high. Of course, keep the low to high because we want that top spin to prevent the ball from going long. Here's another one. And I suggest, again, not swinging real fast. Let's recap. Don't swing too fast until you're ready. So the faster you swing, the harder it's going to be to do the new technique right. Uh, make sure that you stay away from the top spin killers. First one is the open racket face at contact. We won't get top spin there. Also, if you're not in position for the ball, ball's too high in your strike zone, you get too close to the ball, you, it'll be very difficult, if not impossible, to get topspin in that way. And then lastly, if you do not have the low to high swing path, you're obviously not gonna get topspin. That's, that's this whole video is based on that swing path. So um, I'm gonna show you one more hit. Well, I'm gonna swing fast. And that ball, I promise you, did not go long because I swung fast, remember. I love telling people this because it's true and at first when someone first hears it blows their mind. The faster you swing, the more control you get. Assuming you've got that low to high swing path and you stay away from all those top spin killers.